In this video, we will provide a step-by-step -step tutorial for upgrading faded fiber optic pool lights to brighter and more energy efficient LED pool lights using an SR Smith Fiber to LED Conversion Kit featuring Mod Light. This video is broken down into four sections. Preparation, removal of the old illuminator and lights, installation of the new lights and power tower, and lastly, we will cover the operation of the new equipment. Before we start the conversion, here are a few helpful tips for preparation. Spotting opportunities for fiber to LED upgrades is easy. Black boxes or towers like this were commonly used for fiber installations in the 90s and early 2000s. The Power Tower series is designed to replace those boxes without taking up any additional space. Working with the homeowner, you will need to determine if the job requires a single or dual zone transformer and how many lights are needed. You will also need to determine the cord length for the new lights. To select the right kit for your application, visit srsmith.com to view the range of fiber to LED kit options. Fiber to LED kits come with everything you need to get the job done, with the exception of some basic tools. You will need the following tools for the upgrade project. Before beginning the installation, be sure the power to the pool is turned off at the breaker. NEC code requires all pool lighting to be protected by GFCI. It is very important that you read all of the warning and safety information in the installation manual. Drain the pool down so the water line is below the existing light. Use a measuring tape or fit gauge, available from SR Smith, to confirm the amount of space behind the wall. Ask one of our lighting specialists for these specialized tools and they will be happy to assist in sending them to you. Now that the preparation work is complete, we will show you how to remove the old fiber optic illuminator and lights. Start by removing the old illuminator cover as shown. Disconnect input wires from the illuminator. Using a multimeter, check and make sure the power is indeed off. Next, simply pull the fiber bundle out of its holder. Remove these two screws and lift the illuminator off the base. If your existing base is in good condition, you can still use it with the new equipment. SR Smith Fiber to LED Conversion Kits come with a new base, which we will use in this video. Whether utilizing the existing base or replacing it, you'll want to remove the compression nut from the fiber. Next, remove the fiber lens and pull the fiber to create enough slack to tape the new light to the fiber. To make sure that the light will fit the conduit even if it is reduced, we are using a mod light. Using electrical tape, overlap the fiber with the new light wire approximately 6 to 12 inches and tape the two pieces together. Ensure that enough tape is used to keep the two pieces together as the wire is pulled into the conduit. Pull fiber through the conduit until the tape joint with the new light wire is reached. Remove the tape from the joint between the fiber and the light wire. Now that the old fiber optic illuminator and lights have been removed, we will show the replacement process. Continue pulling the light wire until there is approximately 12 inches of wire remaining out of the conduit at the pool wall. For the purpose of this video, we will be using a mod light because of the uniquely compact power coupler, which makes the mod light ideal for retrofitting. Insert the head of the power coupler into the wall fitting from the front. Fit the power coupler module cord end first into the one and a half inch wall fitting and carefully pull most of the waterproof supply cable through to the power equipment. Only pull the cord until the face of the power coupler is flush with the front face of the wall fitting. Finally, attach any of the 10 provided trim plates to the lamp module. Holding the LED lamp module by the trim plate, position the threaded portion at the mouth of the wall fitting. Thread the lamp assembly into the wall fitting. Do not over tighten the light as damage may occur. After the lights are installed, the last step is installing the new power tower. Wires from the lights must all come through the larger of the two ports, while the 120 volt power supply wires should come through the smaller of the two ports. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with the components and their location by reviewing the manual. Place the power tower unit on the base while pulling through the light wires and supply wires. Attach the power tower to the base with two of the supplied screws. 
Strip the insulation on each wire, black, white, and green, to 3 8 of an inch. Feed the cable and stripped wires through the white nylon finger grommet and dress it approximately as shown. The black hot wire connects to the terminal block orange segment, the white neutral wire to the gray segment, and the green ground wire to the yellow green segment. Fully insert the wire installation tool into the segment's smaller square hole. Firmly lever the tool to the left to open the wire entry and hold it in place. Fully insert the correct wire into the segment's larger square hole. Release the installation tool and remove it. Pull the inserted wire firmly to confirm that it is tightly gripped. Make sure the wires are not touching anything they shouldn't be and look neat and out of the way. Check the user manual for limitations on wattage consumption when planning the project. Note that we are using a PT6002 and it has two sets of terminal banks. If you are using a PT6001, it will have one set of terminals on the left side of the case. Strip each cable jacket back from the end to release about three inches of each internal wire, being careful not to damage their insulation. Strip each wire's insulation to 3 8 of an inch, then twist each wire to eliminate any stray strands. Select a pair of connection points located horizontally across from each other, as shown in figure E on page 8 of the manual. Using a fingernail or small tool, rotate each lever out and down until it remains open. Fully insert the red wire through the outermost hole and rotate the lever all the way up. Repeat this process for the black wire. Pull on each lead firmly to confirm it is fully gripped. Place the cover onto the unit and secure with the two supplied machine screws. Replace the dirt around the power tower base. Make sure that the level of the dirt remains at least an inch below the top of the base. Once installation is complete, turn power back on at the panel and GFCI. Now that the installation is complete, we can begin using the new equipment. The lights are operated by a three-position switch on the back of the power tower. To turn on, move the power switch to the upper on position. To turn off, move the switch to the middle off position. Move the switch to the lower position to control the system with the wireless remote. Using the remote, you can select from six color choices and two light shows. If you chose the PT6002 for the upgrade project, you can create zones of color that can be managed in unison or independently, allowing the homeowner to customize their backyard lighting experience. Use it to create two zones of color in the pool, or to control the pool and spa separately. You can even set up one of the zones for water features or backyard landscape lighting. Using the remote, press button 1 or 2 to turn on the corresponding zone. If you continue to press either zone button, you will cycle through the colors and light shows in that zone. Press the M button to control both zones in unison. Press S to use the remote to sync multiple lights. Additional information on using the remote can be found on page 11 of the manual. This completes this SR Smith tutorial video showing how to upgrade old fiber optic pool lighting to new brighter and more energy efficient LED lighting. If you have any questions, please contact one of our lighting specialists. For additional resources and more information on all of our products, visit srsmith.com.